Alright, this is me making a video. My name's Chris from Twisted Mind Design. And people's been asking me for a video of me with my hooker. Well, after that other incident where Facebook deleted my other video and I realized that was a huge misunderstanding, uh, I decided to do this one for you guys. And and uh, so so here you go. And yes, of course, I don't talk like that. Um, I'm Chris, Twisted Mind Design. Here's my cup of Starbucks coffee. Uh, no, wait, no, no. My Starbucks cup of coffee. Uh, because, you know, at Starbucks, all I can really actually afford is the cup one time, and then I just fill it with uh, Folgers or something. The other things we got here is the amazing... The amazing phasing wonder dunder hooker dooker smoker poker dooker looker dooker thing. Uh, it's the thing that I use to make my hooks for my necklaces. And uh, if I had one of those around here, I would show you. Okay, so this necklace in particular, which I just sold by the way, woohoo! Uh, just got the order and they actually ordered it, but that's the necklace. Um, it's made of hooks. It's kind of a joke, but it's kind of cool too. People kind of actually like it. But uh, yeah, so each each of these hooks is exactly like the hook that I would use for any normal chain that I make. So with that said, uh, that's pretty much it. So let's see, what else do we need here? We've got uh, chain nose pliers. I got a little black thing. It's, it might be a stigmata. I'm not sure. Um, there is uh, these little round nose tippy plier things. This is the most organized my tools have ever been, by the way. Um, these are shears, metal shears. I like to use shears better because they don't pinch off the end like the regular... Um, like these things do, these things pinch things off and they make it really, really, really sharp. So these shear it off, which makes it straighter. I personally like that. So, um, I have a springy ding of um, 14 gauge wire. I get this stuff, it comes as, uh, it's like ground wire for building houses. It's in the uh, hardware stores. And uh, you can find it in like the, you know, just go ask, do you have stranded ground wire? That's the word you're looking for, stranded ground wire. And uh, it has like, uh, like seven to nine strands. So it ends up being really cheap. And it's all, it's all for, most of it is 14 gauge. I think there might be a few pieces of 16 gauge in it. But it's really, really good. And it's great for chains and uh, hooks and things like that. So, um, also have my teeny tiny little anvil. It's so cute. It's so cute, little anvil. And a chasing hammer. Oh, you hit the little chain anvil with a chasing hammer. It doesn't hurt, does it, anvil? No, it doesn't hurt. It feels kind of good, because that's what I'm made for. Okay. All right. And so then I also have a Rubik's Cube. Um, there's really no reason to have that uh, if you're making one of these things unless you just like to have Rubik's Cubes around, and I do. So that's why, um, that's why there's one sitting here. And let me say, uh, the top cross. It's the first part when you're solving it. Anyway, okay, so. So watch this. This is so, so cool, so easy, so fast. Don't tell my clients because then they'll want me to char charge less. But um, so first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna straighten out this wire. I've measured over here. I've got four inches measured, four and five inches measured. I used to do four inches, but I decided that I like to keep it around five. It wastes a little bit of extra wire, but. Um, <clears throat> It also keeps it from not being so hard when I get to the final stage. So you'll see what I'm talking about. Uh, this this is the jig, by the way, and it's just made of some little plastic uh, spacer things I had laying around and some screws. And this is a uh, 
one quarter inch uh, socket from Taiwan it looks like um, and that just happened to be the right diameter for the way I wanted to do the hooks so and there's a little nail stuck in here and the nail does something extra too so you'll see that in a second all right so <clears throat> all right so we're gonna straighten this out here gonna put it right at the five inch mark we're gonna take our shears trim it off I'm gonna hold this thing on so you don't squirt it across the room and just make sure you guys can still see right okay and uh, I don't have an assistant so you're just gonna have to bear with me and hope that you can see how this works but it is it's real simple so what I do is I take so it's the right length I take it I stick it between these two pieces you know, the design of this, it's really simple. It's in exactly the same pattern as um, Aquarius, the constellation. And so if you use the same um, uh, ratios of Aquarius's uh, diameters and, and, and angles, and I have no idea what I'm talking about. I'm actually, uh, you just screw things down and then bend things around it. It's kind of the way it works, okay? All right, so I'm gonna stick that in there. Stick that in there, got it, right? And it, see, it's kind of got a little indentation now since I've been using it for a while. So stick it in there, bend it around this way, bend it around this way. Try not to cut your fingers off. Bend it around this way, and then pull it kind of tight that way. Doink! And that's it. And see, the nail actually helped to straighten that little edge out right there. Isn't that cool? Let me see how's that, how it looks. Here, I'm going to zoom in. Ready for this? Dun, dun, dun. Now we got manual focus going too. Dun, 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 Got that? Was it? That was dramatic. So yeah, so that's that's the hook. All done. Thanks. Bye. Just kidding. Um, so now, if I have, if I'm making a, like a, a hooker necklace, which <laughs> was my original idea for the necklace, but it ended up not being um, the final idea, you know, due to not wanting to. Uh, drive off the old grand ladies. Um, but so if I'm making this, I want to make a whole, I'll take a whole bunch to this stage first, okay? You know, I'm, I'm mass producing only without small Bangladeshian children, okay? Um, get to this point, take your round nosy thingies, stick them in there, and then give it a a good angle. Let's see if we got some focus. All right, let's try to do this. So you get right within this. Uh, get right in there. Grab it. Wrap this around. By the way, you need massively strong hands because it's 14 gauge wire, American wire gauge. <laughs> That's a pretty good like impression of a person doing an impression of Arnold Schwarzenegger, I think. Get to the chopper and get the American wire gauge. Get the clippers. <laughs> get to the clippers. <laughs> get to the clippers. Okay, so that's it. Did you see what I just did while I was cracking myself up? Um, spun it around and then just spin it around, okay? Spin around, spun around. Um, now we'll get it to this point. I like to put the the hooky part on the inside. Um, cut it off right there. I take my little thingies here. I just clamp them down. Oh my God! I'm so nervous. I can't believe it, I'm on TV. Well, not, the, not TV, but the internet. It's so exciting. Oh my goodness. 
So exciting! Once you get it kind of clamped down there, then you just rub your finger over there and see if it cuts you. Ow! Ow! Oh, shit! Ah! Oh. I'm just kidding. To totally kidding. Uh, not cut. Everything's fine. Um, so now, so we have basic claspy clasp, right? Looks good. Everything looks fine. Um, you know, I may come in and, and do some finish up bending. So now this thing looks actually like a pretty good length. I'm just going to check my focus again. Physical focus, not mental, because I hardly have any of that. Um, now I'm going to take this and I'm going to spin this guy around with my round tip pliers. And I'm just going to get it around just a little bit. See that? See, it's not. Dun, dun, dun. Where is that focus? See, it's not um, even really bent all the way. But then I'm going to come in here and finish it up. Because if I bend it too far with these round tip pliers and these and and all of that, so now kind of got that thing going on, right? If I if I bend it all the way then it starts to get this these weird sort of uh, teardrop shapes and then so then this I'm sure you guys have seen videos on making swirlies and without using uh, toilets if you were a nerdy if you were ever a nerdy high school boy which is very unlikely because I think the demographic of people that actually make this kind of jewelry is highly skewed to female. So, so there you have it. Uh, there's the hook. That's one of my hooky hooks. And if it's uh, it's if it's for something smaller, then I might, um, you know, twist this smaller, da da da, or I might even pull this down further. Do that. The last little step that I'll do when I have a hook get it to the point where I want it this is bothering me a little bit right here because it's not bent the way I want it sorry about the backlit situation but you know what can you do alright so there's that So the last thing I will do is I will get my focus back down here we focus dish um, I'll get my little anvil thingy and I'm just going to hammer especially around the, the curve of the hook because that's what really strengthens it the most but since I'm doing it might as well give it all a little hammered look and the swirlies look really cool it's like swirly and unhammered and then Hammered swirly sounds like a <laughs> sounds like a drink. Yes, I'll take a hammered swirly, please. Sorry, buddy, you've had enough. Oh, please, just one more hammered swirly. <laughs> oh man, I got therapy today. I really do, and I am just on fire. You can even hammer the little the little square little square part there. I think it looks kind of cool when it gets hammered. Sort of like that girl I went out with that one time. But um, yeah, so so that's it. Uh, I'm going to tighten this guy up a little bit, and that's I'm gonna tighten this one down a little bit. Now I might also have to use a uh, a file. I don't see any laying around, so let's just pretend I had a file. And you know, so like like if this part were were um, sharp, I'd take a little file and I go. I kind of blow it off sometimes and go. And then to where it got nice and smooth. But that's it. Hook with a hooker jig. 
So one more time for the road. We're gonna do this super fast. Uh, I did this once already and I didn't realize but my camera ran out of, of uh, space to record so it kind of stopped it right near the end and messed it all up. So I'm gonna try this quickly. I think I've got all my tools still sitting around here. I want to show you kind of how fast it can go when you are doing everything correctly. Okay, ready, set, here we go. All right, so the first thing we do is get it measured out there. Get our shears, cut it off, get rid of that. Hope my phone doesn't ring because you know it's going to totally ring. Um, poke this guy in there. Boink. Boink. When I'm doing this, I don't know if I've said this, I feel like I'm working in alternate universes. Because I it seems that I've already said this. Did you take the blue pill or the red pill? I don't know. I'm not really sure. No, it, it, this is Keanu Reeves, I guess so it's supposed to be. I don't know. I'm not really sure. Dude. Okay, so um, we just wrap this guy around there, spin it about halfway, and then wrap it again. Take it down, take it down, take it down, take it downtown. Pull that around there. Sometimes, uh, if I'm feeling it, I will use my other tools to help me wrap it. I use my tool to help me wrap. Yes, I'm a musician and a master beatboxer, so that'll be another video. Um, and so we get that about right there. We don't drop it. Take this guy. Cut it. Make sure that I'm in the frame. Okay, I'm in the frame. Just kind of clamp this uh, this one down. I'm gonna clamp it down. That was Clamp It Down by Chris Hayes with Twisted Mind Design. I really, you know, I'm gonna do kind of an expose on myself. <laughs> that doesn't sound right. Um, uh, about why my my brand is called Twisted Mind Design, and and I actually do really actually struggle with mental uh, illness issues. So uh, that's going to be coming on my website very soon. I've started it, and I started the blog post, and uh, I hope you guys will take a look at it. And uh, you know, let me know if you have any uh, similar issues that you guys are dealing with. Okay, so I'm right there. I'm going to take this. I'm going to give it the bends. Boink. Without having to depressurize. I'm uh, going to give it the swirlies. Ugh. Seriously. Like the swirl part is the long, takes the longest of all, and make sure I'm in the frame. I'm just gonna give it the hammer. Here comes the hammer. And here comes the neighbors. And that's it. Looks good. All hooked up. No place to go. But that's a hook from start to finish. Get a little light. Gonna let my light shine. Get a little. There we go. 
Dun, 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 dun. A little specular highlight for all of you photography fans out there. Dun, 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 dun. So anyway, so that's it. Um, I hope you have enjoyed this episode of Chris Needs Just Slightly Less Coffee. And uh, please visit twistedmind.design. That's twistedmind.design. Not twistedmind.design.com.us.de.cnaf. No, no, no. Twistedmind.design. It's that easy. It's really that easy. Twistedmind.design. See you there.